All right. One more for the road. Section 30. The DNC. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, to David Whitmere, Peter Whitmere, Jr., and John Whitmere at Fayette, New York, September 1830, following the Three Days Conference at Fayette, but before the elders of the church had separated. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 115. Individual instructions. Individual instruction is given. And the fact of Oliver Cowdery's mission to the Lamanites is reiterated. Lamanites as a Native American Aboriginal The people that are, were here before everybody else, as far as I know. One, behold, I say unto you, David, that you have feared man, wait, that you have feared man and have not relied on me for strength as you ought. Two, but your mind has been on the things of the earth more than on the things of me, your maker. He's been focusing on, like, reality. He forgot to make some time for it. That reminds me of this cyber pet somebody wanted me to have, you know? Hey, you gotta feed it, take care of it. It's a cyber pet. I love animals. I just can't get behind a cyber pet. I mean, at least I can stroke a pet rock, you know. <laughs> it, it, it died in cyber. Never, never land. Anyway. Yeah, cyber pet. I don't know what that was about. I just totally went off to there. Alright. Your maker and the ministry where under you have been called. And, and you have not given heed to my spirit and to those who are sent over you but have been persuaded by those whom I have not commanded. Three. Wherefore, you are left to inquire for yourself at my hand, and ponder upon the things which you have received. Four. And your home shall be at your father's house until I give unto you your you uh, unto you further commandments this is like God talking to just uh, stay with your dad he won't charge you for rent probably you might have to do some chores, though. <laughs> Chop wood and shit. All right. Uh, four. Your father's house, until I give unto you further commandments, and you shall attend to the ministry of the church and before the world, and in the regions round about. Amen. Five. Behold, I say unto you, Peter, that you shall take your journey with your brother Oliver 
for the time has come that it is expedient in me that you shall open your mouth to declare my gospel. Therefore fear not, but give heed unto the words and advice of your brother, which he shall give you. Nice way of saying he's going to boss your ass around. Six. And be you afflicted in all his afflictions, ever lifting up your heart unto me in prayer and faith. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's not funny now. Yeah. Uh, faith. <laughs> For his and your deliverance. For I have given unto, unto him power to build up my church among the Lamanites. In 1830. Seven, and none have I appointed to be his counselor over him and the church concerning church matters, except it is his brother Joseph Smith Jr. who trumps all with his voice of a trump. I'm just helping out. Eight, wherefore, give heed unto these things, and be diligent in keeping my commandments, and you shall be blessed unto eternal life. Amen. Nine, behold, I say unto you, my servant John, that thou shalt convince from this time forth to proclaim my gospels, my gospel, it wasn't plural, as with the voice of a trump. Ten, and your labor shall be at your brother Philip Burroughs, and in that region round about, yea, wherever you can be heard until I command you to go forth hence. Eleven. And your whole labor shall be in Zion. And all your soul from henceforth, yea, you shall ever open your mouth in my cause, not fearing what man can do. For I am with you. Amen. You're on your own. Beyond. That's it. That's all I can stand. I hope you learned something. I wasn't paying attention. Let me know what it was. Um, help me out. Chime in. Open channel. Peace. Fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I think my willpower alone should make it happen.